heading off for the weekend so I thought I would take you along with us and do a little vlog. Before I get into it I just want to give you a quick health update because you're probably thinking to yourself Fiona you only got out of hospital last week are you sure you should be going away? The answer is yes I'm sure. I don't want to let anyone down. It is a Canning Cross weekend we're away to Strathallan at the airstrip again. Um, we were there last year, it wasn't quite a year ago, I don't think. I'll link it for you anyway. In fact, no, it wasn't because we had Hugo. I think um, I think Karen added it in once all the restrictions were lifted and we were able to have a weekend again. So it was later on in the year, but I'll link the vlog for you anyway in case you've not seen it. So it's a Canny Cross weekend, it's not the Fur Nations, it's just um, Karen's Canny Sports Scotland event. And it's in Strathallan. Brooke's not running, but Jack is, and I'm going to be marshalling um, the long and short course on Saturday and Sunday. So that's the reason I'm going. I'm not going to let Karen down. And to be fair, health-wise, I'm not bad. My headache is still there, but it's pretty well controlled. There are times that it gets extremely painful, even when I've had my painkillers and I just need to lie down. But I can lie down in the caravan as well as I can lie down in the house. So I'd be as well being there and enjoying myself and helping Karen out. And also, when I was in the hospital, she messaged me, she didn't realise that I wasn't well. And she messaged saying, we're needing um, more first aid equipment. Is there any chance you could organise a raffle for me while we're away? And I was like, well, I'm in the hospital just now, but I don't see why not. So I'm organising a raffle that we're going to hold tomorrow night as well. So that's another reason I have to go. I'm looking forward to it anyway, to be honest. Um, doesn't make any difference where I am, my head's still going to be as sore, so let's enjoy ourselves. So there's a race on tonight, but I don't think I'm marshalling. I've told her I'm available if she needs me, but she's not said that she does yet. So the plan is that in a wee while we're going to go to Asda. I forgot when I was in Clydebank on Tuesday with Abby, was it Tuesday? I can't remember. When I was in Clydebank with Abby anyway, I meant to pick up some raffle books and totally forgot. So I'm really hoping that B&M or ASDA have got raffle books. So when we go to ASDA, I need to try and get raffle books and we're going to get all the food and things that we need for over the weekend in the caravan as well. And then we're going to come back, we're going to go get the caravan and we will pick Brooke up from school. She's away to school as normal. We'll pick her up from school and just head straight off from there because I think the race is at either six or seven tonight and Jack's running in it. So we need to make sure we are there and set up for that. I've had my shower, I'm all packed. I have printed off, I said that I would, um, as part of the raffle, I would donate three gift vouchers for personalised mugs from, from Lomond Creations. So I have printed them off, I think they look quite good. So I'm going to put my, use my call up e-mark to put my business card details on the back, okay. And um, also Granny Annie has donated a couple of boxes that she makes for the raffle as well. So I'm going to print off some of her business cards as well so I can put them in the boxes just in case whoever wins them wants more. You never know when we can get more business. It's all good, isn't it? Pretty much organised. Just got those wee bits to do. And then it'll be a case of letting the weekend begin. Or begin, as Granny Annie would say. The dogs are really looking forward to it. Watch this. Hey Clyde. Are we going in the caravan today? Are we? Are we going in the caravan? Clyde likes a caravan. Oh, listen. Here comes Willa. Does Willa want to go in the caravan? Oh, we're all excited. We're all excited now. <laughs> right, okay, okay. See what I've started. <laughs> we're not leaving for hours, it's only eight o'clock. <laughs> well, it's half past five. That's us arrived in Strathallan. 
The dogs are excited. <laughs> Jack's just hitching up the caravan. Are you there, Brooke? Say hello. Oh, all we can see is dogs. She's Hi. there somewhere. <laughs> there she is. Chocolate milk. <laughs> You've had your chocolate milk, yes. Oh, Hugo! That's pathetic for such a big doggy. <laughs> oh, he just walloped me in the face. We're just remembering that this is where Hugo did his first big boy bark. <laughs> The last time they were here, he was only a few months old, weren't you, Hugo? Oh, look at that sky. I hope it stays as nice. We've got the gastro grilla over there again. And according to Facebook, they're doing really good dirty fries this weekend. So we might have some of them with our burger tomorrow. So yeah, this is us. We're here. I don't think I'm needed for the race tonight, but we shall see. You Jack's running tonight. anyway. There is a race tonight, yeah, 8 o'clock. Yes. Why would you have a race at 8 o'clock at night? Because it is too warm to do it any earlier than that for the dogs. Jump into the car on a Friday night. I wanna drive with you. Looking for a bar in the nearest town. I've never seen a sky so blue. We don't ever play it in the night is young. It doesn't matter what. to be yours Jack's away out for his run with uh, Willa and Clyde for the nighttime race and Hugo is not impressed. It's like, where'd my dad go? Listen, oh, yeah, he did go that way. The start used to go along there, but they've changed it. I actually thought I was going to be able to see them, but I won't because Brooke's away out on her bike. Oi, quiet! Brooke's away out on her bike, so I'm staying in here with the... Uh, Willa and... No, not Willa. There's Jack stretching. I'm staying in here with Hugo and Molly. Oh, Molly, where'd they go? There's the cushion that made. That side says, life rocks when the living room rolls and the other side is home is where we park it. <laughs> right, I'm going to sign off for tonight and I shall see you in the morning. I'll be marshalling short and long course tomorrow. So I'll see you in the morning. Five to seven and an absolutely gorgeous morning. Hugo's in position on guard duty, aren't you, son? You good boy. <laughs> Look at that sun. Wow. Beautiful day. So I woke up to a message at the back of six this morning from Karen saying that she needs me for the wheels, marshalling as well as Jack. So we're up, dressed and ready to go to the briefing for seven o'clock. And we will be in position for half past seven. Hey Molly, yes, it's going to be a full day today, marshalling the bikes, marshalling long course, short course, all oh, way to go. Look, you're such a suki boy. Yeah, marshalling bikes, long course, short course, prize given, and then I'll be selling raffle tickets for the afternoon. And then tonight is the social, where 
I'll be actually doing the raffle. We, we don't normally go to the social track, do we? But I'm going to be forced to this time because uh, I'm doing the raffle. So I'll need to be sociable tonight. So yeah, that's the plan for today. I will catch up with you in a wee while. Jack heading up to his Marshall Point. Good morning, it's now almost half past seven. I am in position, same place as last year. Um, and, oh, it's so nice. There's not a cloud in the sky. It's a wee bit chilly, I have to say. Not a cloud in the sky. The water was so still. There's a wee sort of pond type thing here. So still, apart from the little ripples where the fish were jumping up. Oh, it was lovely. And I can hear all the birds chirping. Listen. I just love it. I just love it. There's something so calming about it. Um, so yeah, that's me just waiting for the bikes and I don't know if there's any scooters this year. There was one last year. Um, so that's what I'm waiting for. I'll try and get some footage of them for you. Runners will be coming along. Uh, the, well, yeah, the runners as well because I'm at the same place for the, the running. But the runners on the wheels will come along there. This is the main road in and out and I'm directing them across there. But I also need to make sure that there's no traffic coming in and out here. Um, because a lot of people will just come up on the Saturday, they won't stay on the Friday night, so there could potentially be quite a few cars going up and down in vans. So that's my main duty, make sure they go the right way and make sure it's safe for everybody. I nearly forgot about my hat. <laughs> I mentioned in the last um, Candy Cross vlog that one of the parts of the challenge this year for the 10th anniversary is to wear 10 different hats so this is my hat for today a pink celtic hat uh, i'm determined i'm going to do it we'll need to find more hats from somewhere but i'm going to do it <laughs> the race hasn't even started yet but i'm hearing on the radio we're having problem with sheep <laughs> of all the issues to have apparently the um, the the farmers left the fields in the sheep no, they've not left the fields of the sheep, that would be hard. They've left the sheep in the fields and um, they moved, the marshals moved the sheep out of the way so that they don't get spooked by the runners and the runners, you know, the dogs don't chase them. Um, and they keep trying to cross back over again. <laughs> so they're in fits of laughter trying to get these sheep out of the way. I think somebody else is coming down just to be on sheep duty. <laughs> it's a shame it's not where I can see them because that would be funny. Here comes the first one, they've got some speed on the bikes with the dogs. That's the wheels finished for this morning. There were seven riders this morning. So I'm going to head back up to the caravan because I'm not needed again till 10 o'clock. So I've got a couple of hours to chill out and then I'll come back down. As you can see, the wind's picked up a bit. <laughs> I wish I'd put my jacket back on. I took my jacket off because it was warm this morning. It did uh, heat up quite a bit, but the wind is definitely picking up. Anyway, it's quarter to ten. I'm back at my marshal point, ready to start uh, marshalling the long course. And we had fun there in between um, marshalling. We were talking to, there's some new people here, and there's a couple who have got 17 dogs. We thought we were mad having four. They've got 17 and most of, them, most of them are staffies or staffy crosses. And they've got a fair few of them with them today. And they're absolutely gorgeous. Really, really nice. Uh, nice, couple, nice couple as well. So 
Uh, yeah, we chatted to them and saw their dogs for ages and then we went for a wander and Hugo was just playing with everybody. He was in his element because normally out on walks with Hugo, people or dogs see him and think, oh, you're too big. Sorry for any wind noise. Yeah, they normally like, oh, you're too big and they back away from him. But here, a lot of the dogs are bigger. They're like huskies and things like that. So they're more than happy to play with them and he was absolutely loving it, he really was. I spoke to Karen about the raffles, got loads more prizes, everybody's so generous, it's really good. And uh, that's me back at my marshalling point, ready to marshal. I brought my breakfast of gingerbread munchies. <laughs> Can't remember if it was Asda or B&M that I saw them, but obviously they were reduced because of Christmas stock, but they're best before the end of the month, so they're fine. So yeah, I do enjoy the gingerbread munchies and uh, that's going to be my breakfast for this morning. So I'm going to head off just now, look at the hair. I'm going to head off just now and I will try to get some footage of the runners. Clyde and Willa. That's when I need to be quiet when they pass me so Clyde doesn't spot me. <laughs> well done! Thank you! <laughs> Clyde's like, that's my mum! Right, that's 25 to 11. The long course went well. That's me in position for the short course. The runners will be coming along that way and going through there and up towards the water where they have to cross through the water then up to the castle it seemed to go well although a deer ran out in front of somebody and uh, I only had to stop one car so it was pretty good yeah it went well I can hear the planes circling overhead we do skydiving from here um, I don't think there's anybody jumping out of them yet I think it's they're checking the conditions and the wind direction and things like that oh Brooks just messaged me to say that skydiving looks so much fun so they must actually be jumping now uh, I'll try to get some footage of some people uh, parachuting later I got some last year it's fascinating to watch I would love to do it but because of my health condition they won't let me <laughs> Happy, content puppies. Eh? You're tired after all that playing this morning, big boy. Just getting organised to go and sort the raffle after the prize given. Hello again, here I am sitting out in the sunshine just selling raffle tickets for all these prizes. We've been so lucky, loads of really good prizes have been donated and we're doing really well. A lot of tickets have been bought as well, so hopefully we'll raise a lot of money for Carden. We should raise money for um, first aid equipment, defect pads, things like that. So, um, yeah, it's a very good cause. Yeah, that's where we're at at the moment. Broke off on our bike. She's going to, uh... <laughs> she's going to go to the skydiving place to see what the minimum age is and how much it is and things. <laughs> What's she like when she gets an idea in her head, that's it. Well, it's three o'clock, we've had lunch, rolling sausage, we're heading out for a walk. Yeah, apparently up here by the castle there's uh, wood carvings, did you say Jack? Someone must do that for a living and there's a grim reaper and all sorts of things so we're going to go and see if I can see them. <laughs> she always does that on grass. You're funny. You're a funny girl. 
Well, we couldn't get up to see the caravans because there's signs saying that we're not allowed to walk in the castle woods, which is a shame. But, okay, well, we're just going for a wee wander anyway. It is 20 to 6, we've got the whole table all set up. It's starting about 6 o'clock, but I wanted to come out early to catch anyone who didn't get a chance to get their whole ticket earlier. At the moment we've raised £118 for the raffle, which is fantastic. Uh, so yeah, I'm really pleased with that. But a lot of people seem to have gone already. Uh, they might be coming back tomorrow. I'm not sure, but it's got quite quiet. But yeah, so we're going to do the raffle. I'm not going to stay for the social after it because I need to get back and take my painkillers and things. But we'll probably get some dirty fries from the gastro griller. These were loaded fries. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Amazing. Salt and pepper chicken, loaded fries. <sighs> Never gonna eat half of these. <laughs> We're playing Trivial Pursuit and look who's in the lead, me! That won't last, so I had to film it. Right, number four. Yeah, right, okay, let's see. Here we go for Brooke. Which sport is played professionally by the Los Angeles Lakers and the Chicago Bulls? No. no! Basketball. <laughs> Good the, try. It's the place American football. So. <laughs> While we're here, look, I have to show you. I said to Jack, what have I done to my hand? It's sunburn. My hands are sunburned. Look. And he said it was obviously from when I was sitting out in the sun earlier. Because it was windy, I didn't feel it. But my hands were like that on the fly. He said it's on the Can I see? Well, it's actually a bit... <laughs> Oh my god. That's gonna hurt in the morning. No, it's not gonna hurt. Someone did actually say to me, have you got sun cream on? I'm like, what am I needing sun cream for? There you go. Look at the state of use, Hugo. Yeah, have you just realised you're half on and half Good off? Boy. Good boy. <laughs> Jack got a couple of brilliant <laughs> photos of Hugo earlier. I'll put them in for you now. Brilliant. Mom. Good morning everyone, today is Sunday, it's about 10 to 8 and I've just arrived at my Marshall Point, oh wait now I better let them know, hold on. Yeah so I'm here to marshal the wheels again and uh, it's not quite as nice a morning, it's still lovely, yeah. it's still lovely, it's dry but there's a lot more clouds which is actually better conditions for the dogs and the humans running, so that is good. We had a nice wee night last night. The raffle went well. Um, I'll need to count the money, but I think we raised almost £200, which is amazing. Yeah, the loaded chips were really good. Marshall 5 in position. And Thank you. Then we had a game of trivial Sasha, pursuit. are you there? Yes, I'm here. Sorry about that. That's all the money. Have you got your radio out of your pocket yet? It's said no money. Right, that's everyone good. We're just going to get the timer started and uh, we'll let you know when there's riders on the course. <laughs> I was the person who started all that. Just like, have you got your radio at your pocket? Anyway, yeah, we had a game of Trivial Pursuit, but we had to abandon that halfway through. are all wonderful, do you know that? <laughs> yeah, but keep telling us. Yeah, we had to abandon that halfway through because it was getting late. The dogs needed their walk and I needed my bed, to be honest. So I've taken a photo of exactly what position we were all in and we will take it up again next weekend because we're away again next weekend at Glam's for the Scottish leg of the Fern Nations Cup. We should have been at Wales last weekend, but we'd cancelled that. Um, and it's Scotland Glam's Castle next weekend and we're really looking forward to that. So we'll take up our game of Trivial Pursuit from there. And yes, that's us. So this is our last day at Strathallan. After I've finished marshalling the wheels, I'll go back to the caravan, start packing my stuff up. Um, and then I'll marshal the long course, the short course. Then we will stay for the prize given and then head off straight after that. Jack's wanting to get home for the Celtic game, hopefully. So, yeah, we will head back after that. I'm still uh, marshalling the long course, but I need to try and catch the horses for you. It is hilarious. They keep running down the field with the runners. 
and then when they get to the end of the field they run back up again to wait for the next lot to come. I have never seen anything like that in my life. The horses are running with the people and dogs. It's amazing. I'll try and catch them for you. Oh, I can't catch the horses. They're too far away in the field for the camera to pick up properly, which is annoying, but it's so cute to see them. That's Jack and Willa and Clyde about to run past, so I'll catch them for you. I'm just heading up to the short course Marshall Point and I've realised I've not actually taken any footage of the castle this time I don't think so that there is Strathallan Castle and we're assuming they're maybe in this weekend and that's why we're not allowed up through the woods up there um, because last year we were allowed access no problem this year it's only during race time so uh, we think they're maybe at home I'm not sure who it is that owns it but it's an absolutely cracking big building right I'm just heading back to the caravan after Marshall and the short course there's the water that's uh, the water where they cross just over where those people are my camera won't focus but that's where they cross the water and then they run up past there's a better view of the castle and they go up into the woods behind the castle. That was a long course, but this is a short course, so they finished just there. But yeah, another nice day. Got to show you the view. It's beautiful up here. Strathallan is not far from Ochterarder, outside Perth, for anyone who is interested. sitting at the table. You think you're human? There's some dog. Watch that hot chocolate. <laughs> yeah, watch my hot chocolate. Yeah, it's Brooks. Yeah, that's the caravan all packed up now and ready to go. We're just waiting for the presentation. Look at that. Did you see that parachutist? Just disappeared behind the trees. It's so cool to see that here. Um, so yeah, we're just going to go to the presentation and then head home. Uh, and uh, yep, I'll speak to you when Jack is doing his man bits that he has to do. <laughs> you say let's jump on a bus and take a ride downtown. Well, I don't know about that. But can you help me first to get these boxes down? Well, I don't know about that. We have the whole day now just to ourselves So we can clean the house or clear out some shelves You said whichever you feel like doing first I said well, I don't know about that Cause it's my lazy day, just wanna lazy away Ain't gonna do a thing for the rest of the day You can try to seduce me, make me wanna play I don't know about that Let's call some friends over for a game of Right, that's one o'clock and that's us all ready to go We've had a good weekend, have you enjoyed it Brooke? What? Have you enjoyed your weekend? Yeah Yeah, it's been good Had a really good weekend Did you enjoy it Jack? Absolutely Yes, it was fab So I'm just going to end the vlog here I hope you've enjoyed watching it If so don't forget to hit that thumbs up button for me. Talk to me in the comments below and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time. Bye everyone.